So let me wrap this up. This is not a Republican or Democrat issue. This isn't about maybe maybe if you're listening to this, you 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 don't see a, a problem with patriotism or nationalism. You know, you're for it. And um, maybe if you're listening to this, you you don't you don't see a problem with 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 global citizenship. You don't you don't see a problem with teaching our children that the community comes first. This document claimed from the beginning this document claimed that one of the four components of their framework for citizenship and honestly folks the framework for citizenship is is not what it is the whole program is the whole child program that's what that's what this is this school is demonstrating Making it very clear that they are part of this group that they they're they're working with the uh, the the a the ASCD in the whole child program, and they claim they claim that all they are doing. Is they're just teaching universal values here, man. It's the kind of values that we all want our kids to have. And you know, the 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 opinions of the kids, they don't enter into this at all. They presuppose that every human being walking on the planet Earth believes that nationalism is good, that patriotism is great, that. That coercive enterprises, that's my phrase for what, what, what state government is. It's essentially, it's a coercive enterprise. It's a business, but it's a business that offers a service or a product that you have to buy. If you don't buy it, they'll send out guns to make sure that you buy it. And if you continue to resist them, they will kill you. That is a coercive enterprise. I'm not for it. Many other people aren't for it. And certainly, even among those that are for it, they're not for a coercive enterprise that takes on the role that it does where it is basically invaded every single part of our lives. And you might believe that that's cool, that that's okay. And it doesn't matter if you believe that. Because my point is that to, to, to say that you're teaching universal values is a freaking lie. That, that, that there's a vast number of people who would most assuredly be assuredly vehemently agree with the values that the whole child program lays out. It 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 it, it, it basically attempts to create a, a debate condition. Where if I am going to oppose them, I have to pretty much say that I'm against universal values. I'm anti-human. Now, the way that I see the world, the way that I see human nature, and based on my own preferences, I would say that the whole child program, by my definition, by my subjective understanding, is singularly and completely anti-human anti-liberty, anti-reality. They are attempting to socially engineer human beings to be something that at the end of the day, they're just not, they, they just fundamentally are not. Human beings are very, very, very quirky in that we, we have these, these two very strong impulses within us. We have a tribal impulse. We like to belong to tribes. We like to belong to groups, if you will, collectives. At the same hand, we also have a, a, a tremendous tendency to want to be our own person, to define our own lives. We are individuals. And I believe we are individuals first and foremost. Cooperation can emerge 
but cooperation that begins with a presupposition that the community is first and foremost and the individual is 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 second to the community that you are going to end up building systems which fundamentally will never know will never understand what it is that individuals truly want it it will it will create a system in which all of the authentic markers that show whether this is something that people like or something that people don't like. They will disappear because the markers will, will be taken away from the individual exchange where, where the rubber meets the road, as it were. When individuals interact on their own self-interest, you get a far more authentic readout of, of what one individual is willing to give another individual for a product or a service. When you create a system where you have a small number of people who have, who have decided what universal values are, you, you must touch every single aspect of human life. You must touch uh, the marketplace. You must touch healthcare. You must touch religion. You must touch philosophy. You must touch politics you have to touch every aspect of human interaction and you cannot rely on the individual authentic exchanges to give you a real bellwether for for what what really is human <laughs> and what really is something else and of course the system you you also you you you, you automatically create opportunities for the worst of the worst to to rise in power. When you, when you can put yourself in a position where you're one of the decision makers, you can use that power to to basically take care of yourself. Because, like I said, human beings—they're naturally they're, they're tribal. And they're also individual in nature. So, so long as you have this dichotomy about humanity, whenever you have a system that creates a high degree of power for a small number of individuals, you are going to attract individuals who see an opportunity to seize that power and use it to enrich their own lives. At your expense, not just your expense, but but depending on the type of power that they have, hundreds of other people's expense, thousands of other people's expense, millions of other people's expense, and we've seen it throughout history. So when I see this, I see I see basically to me the whole child program, the whole child program, whether it's fascism whether it's state socialism, whether it's state communism, and I would argue it's, it's not so much state fascism, and I'll, I'll get to the difference there. It's, it's, it's either state communism or state socialism, probably state socialism. What, whether, what, what, whether it is any one of those three things, if, if, if the whole child program, if this becomes the norm throughout the world, and, you know, it started in 2007, so it's been going on for 10 years. 128 different countries are using this program to one degree or another. And you start to see world citizens raised up. You imagine, you imagine the horrors that a small group of people can perpetrate on the world. Because in the 20th century, we saw... The, 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 the dictators, the, the totalitarian leaders, whether they're fascist, communist, socialists, they were able to wield a very, very powerful machine that, that took what used to be deaths of thousands when you had bad rulers and, and, and elevated it to deaths of millions. Now you're talking about laying the groundwork for something beyond the nation state. As hideous to me as the nation state is, the world state is, is far more chilling. 
because if you have a small group of people that are that are that that have a hold of the monopoly of violence such as you have the United States of America, China, all the other nation states, then your ability to kill at, at a scale that that now now touches billions is is not unrealistic. And that's what we're talking about here. Whatever the intention of the people who have come up with this program, however noble they may believe that they are, they are laying the groundwork for tyranny that will make the 20th century look like, well, they'll make the 20th century look like maybe the 19th century looked to the 20th century. Well, that was bad, but... You know, you're only killing in the thousands. Yeah, that's what they'll say. Well, the 20th century was bad, but, you know, they were only killing in the millions. Now, now we're killing in the billions. And who knows? Maybe that's, maybe that's just what these folks want. Because, you know, at the end of the day, if the community is the most important thing, then individuals, individuals absolutely are. Expendable. Now, before I leave you, I did tell you that I would explain to you. Uh, I, I'll, I'll just touch briefly the difference, such as I see it. I'm, 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 I'm not claiming absolute knowledge here. I hardly ever do that. Uh, between state communism, state socialism, and state fascism. State communism and state socialism are kind of in the same camp. State fascism is its own unique camp, and there are many brands of state fascism, just as there are brands of state communism, state socialism. State socialism is absolutely, well, or excuse me, state communism is absolutely the, the, the state owns all of the means of production. Uh, and, state communi- and state socialism is, the state doesn't necessarily own all of the means of production, but it pretty much dictates the rules of engagement in the marketplace, including to varying degrees, uh, price fixing, uh, deciding that uh, you can't charge too much or you can't charge too little, and oh, uh, uh, you know, hev- heavy on regulations. Now, state socialism and state fascism they kind of sound similar in that state fascism is is also it's it the state doesn't own the means of production. The there are individual owners of of businesses, but the individual owners are are. Either they're complete, they're, well, in one way, shape, or form, they're married to the state. They are one and the same. The state doesn't directly own it, but they directly control it. Whether they control the owners of the uh, businesses through force or whether the owners of businesses are also the owners of the state, uh, it, it doesn't matter. But, but there is a key difference. And why I put state socialism in the in the uh, state communism camp and not in the state fascist camp is because state fascism its 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 ultimate goal is to raise up a people to be as best as a people can. Its focus is not on the individual. Its focus is absolutely on the community, however it defines the ultimate community. So you can have you can have international fascism. It can happen. Uh, you can have, uh, uh, but 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 from 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 what I've seen, both mostly fascism is in the nationalist camp. They don't they don't branch out too much. But but I'm I'm sure that they exist. I'm sure that if you were to look up international fa- internationalist fascism, I bet you that you'll find something. Uh, but but the key thing with international uh, or with fascism as opposed to communism and socialism. The key thing is, with the fascist, they believe that it is the hero that will lift everyone up. It is the excellent individuals who will lift everyone else up. So they build systems that are designed to identify the extraordinary, give them extra power, extra privileges, whatever you know, you'll call it rights, whatever you want to call it. And it's the heroes that will that will lift everyone up. The 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 communists, the state communists, the state socialists, they believe that 
what you really need is for everyone to be equal. It is, it is the creation of equality for all. And not just equal opportunity, but equal outcomes. Now, I will say on this site, the, the AS, what is it here? The, 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 the ASCD, the uh, Association for Supervision and Curriculum Development, I will say that they were careful when they defined equality that uh, they, they, did, they did specifically say equal opportunity. But I can assure you, I, I would be willing to bet a fair amount of, of money <laughs> That when you scratch under the surface, that that for them equality is isn't is it isn't just equal opportunity. It's it's it is most it would it will most assuredly be as, as confident as I can be uh, e equal outcome. So for the for the 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 reason, for instance, that Hitler hated. Uh, the communists was was not that he disagreed with he, he he Hitler most assuredly was was not for the free market uh, whether you want to call it capitalism free market whatever Hitler most assuredly was not for the free market Hitler is not a uh, he, he, I, I would even say if you want to if, if you want to define capitalism as being uh, 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 a somewhat free market where uh, the most powerful of the powerful get special favors from the government. Uh, Hitler, Hitler didn't even been for that. That that's you know mercantilism, crony capitalism. Hitler wouldn't have even been for that. Hitler would most assuredly be for the state indirectly controlling the means of production, and that's that's what happened in in Nazi Germany. The state absolutely indirectly controlled the means of production. It was a fascist economy, uh, but but just like the so the the state socialists and the state communists, he used coercion to assure that the state controlled the means of production. With the state communists, well, they did it directly. And with the state socialists, state socialists, they'll do it some combination. They'll have some degree of direct state control and, and other degrees of indirect state control. They're all on, on, on agreement on that point. The differences between the Nazis and the communists that they despised and they fought like the street battles uh, even during, you know, during the Weimar Republic, before Hitler rose to power, all these battles that happened. The reason that Hitler hated the communists wasn't because he was a capitalist, but because the communists, communists didn't understand the will of power, man. Communists didn't understand the hero. The communists, they're a slave mentality. They believe in in and bringing everyone down to the lowest common denominator rather than recognizing the hero and letting the hero raise everyone else up. That's why Hitler hated commies. And the reason that the commies hated the Nazis was because, well, the Nazis had a totally opposing worldview. Uh, unlike the commies, the commies believed, and by the commies, I mean the state commies, the com they believed that, it, it is the poor, the downtrodden, the workers. Those are the ones that, that you want to make sure that everyone is equal with. Everyone is on par. So it means bringing down the heroes, the, the, the ones who excel, and making sure that they don't do better than the workers. So you can understand why they hated each other so much. And there's other differences as well. But for the purpose of this, the, those, those are the key points that I'm making. And I would say that what you see with the whole child program, I can't say it with 100% degree certainty, but based on the language that they use, they, they talk about social justice and equality. And they use a lot of the, the buzzwords of, uh, of, of state communism, of state socialism, that they are not for lifting up the heroes. They are for bringing everybody down to the lowest common denominator and creating a worker's paradise in essence is is, is absolutely well I want to say absolutely but pretty pretty certain that that's really what the whole child program is designed to do at the end of the day for me personally I have I have no love I have no love for the fascists I have I have no love for 
for the idea of using coercive power to to give uh, more favor and more resources and more control to the quote unquote heroes to lift the society up, the community up, the nation up. And I and I have absolutely no desire to try to purposely bring down the people who are excelling to assure that you have equal outcomes. And so in that process, we end up bringing the community as a whole up to a higher level. For me, I am all about the individual. I call myself a vis provusian. Vis previs. Previs is private. Vis is power. A vis provusian is basically... We believe, I'm the only we, I made up the word, I'm the only vis provusian in the world, but I'm going to say we, I'll use the word we, why not? Uh, well, okay, I won't, I can't do it, I can't pull it off. I believe that wherever possible, I work to tilt the balance of power between from coercive enterprises towards individuals and free associations. I'm not anti-community, I'm not even anti-collective. I'm anti-coercive collective. I believe that if you really, and, and, and honestly, this is a secondary thing for me, honestly. This is secondary. The idea of, of lifting up all of humanity and making humanity better, I, I don't give a, I won't say I don't give a crap about any of that, but that's, that's a secondary concern. And, and one of the reasons it's a secondary concern is because I believe if you really, really, really want that to happen, okay, first of all, you have to dispel with your preconceived notion of what it means for humanity to be better, to be more elevated. <laughs> you, you have to stop even trying to define what that means. That if you have environments in which individuals increasingly have the power to choose for themselves with the least amount of physical threat from outside of them, that you will much more naturally see humanity evolve, if you will, towards the, the subjectively defined, I'll say, higher version of themselves. And so for that reason, I reject everything about this whole program, the whole child program. And because they added the word review, I reject signing this. I reject signing a document which implied that I had any power whatsoever to review. I reject a document, this, this document that begins by stating that the unnamed school district, in partnership with the family and the community, uh, in partnership, I'm not in partnership with you, buddy. I am in total absolute vehement disagreement with everything that you stand for when you chose to adopt the whole child initiative. I am totally against you. I'm against everything that you stand for. So you did not consult with me. There was no partnership going on. So I right away, you give me a document that starts off with a lie. And then you get to the second lie, the second major lie, universal values. And I have, I have no real input into this. I can't change this. You, you, you've signed your contracts, whatever. Maybe you got some economic benefit out of this. You got a grant from this. I don't know. I don't know what kind of benefit you got from this. But I guarantee you, because somebody like me comes along and says this sucks, that you're gonna, you, it, really, it really matters. So the review process is a lie. There, there, there's, there's no review whatsoever. So I won't sign this unnamed school district, and I will be sending this video to unnamed school district. Well, I'm debating that. I may or may not. My daughter goes to this school, so we'll see. We'll see what I decide. At any rate, I've said, I guess I've said everything I can say about this whole thing. And at the end of the day, I definitely let loose a few expletives, a lot of expletives when I first read this document. 
And I had to wait a few days before I can even make this video. Because if I had made it early on, this video would have been filled with expletives. I have a fundamental disagreement with this school and with the people. When I say this school, I mean the individuals, whoever you are. You, if I knew your names, I would address them. I wouldn't address your last names. I would address your first names. I would call you out. Whoever you are, the individuals within this school district, starting with the school superintendent. I won't say his first name because then you can figure out probably pretty easily the school. Or maybe not. You, Mr. Superintendent, Mr. Assistant Superintendent, all the school principals, all the administrators, all the teachers that are going along with this program, for whatever reason you're going along with this program, you are all to blame. It is you that did this. You, the individuals, only individuals act, and a whole host of individuals chose to act to be the enforcers, to be the, the, the trainers, to be the legitimizers, the educators of a system that is designed to convince my child that she is only valuable in so far as she enriches the community around her. And you lay the groundwork for, for global tyranny, the, the, the bloodshed of which if it comes to fruition, will dwarf what we've seen in the 20th century. And that's, I believe, that's how I'm going to end this special. Breaking effing news report from iState.